Now, I have a few different sensors here, but I decided to start with this lightning strike distance sensor. I made a sensor working in the end, but what should have been an easy task to connect another I2C device to Raspberry Pi turned out to be a bit of a nightmare. And also, I had to use this kitchen lighter a lot. This sensor should detect a lightning strike nearby and give us a distance estimation. Before connecting the sensor to a Raspberry Pi, we first need to solder header pins. Initially, I simply connected this module to Raspberry Pi with power and I2C. But Raspberry Pi did not detect this module at all. So I checked all the wires. I tested with different Raspberry Pi. And even if it doesn't make sense, I tried a different way of wiring it. I honestly thought the device was faulty. The thing is, after searching more on the internet, I found that three other pins require a 3 volt signal to make this I2C working. And finally, Raspberry Pi is recognizing the sensor at 03 on the I2C address table. Alright, I'll continue with this sensor in next video and we'll have a bit of fun and try to simulate lightning with this. As always, thanks for watching and arigatou gozaimashita.